a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Sanger Unified took a risk and piloted something totally new. Universal Design for Learning. So this is, and we are so excited. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm very excited. Amy, I'm sure you are too. This is our time to share out together um, all that we've learned and accomplished over these past few years. All right, so our goal for being together on May the 4th is we'll be learning from each other's work and celebrating each other's UDL journey. Okay, so the goal of this little screencast is to show you or and tell you exactly how that's going to work on the day. So, in words, all pilots will be together 2015, 2016, and 2016, and 2017. We'll split into two groups. One group will share while the other one listens, and then the groups will flip-flop. The listening group will rotate through five PLC shareouts. And the sharing group has five minutes to express their findings for, from the year. All right, so Amy is going to tell us this in pictures. All right, so we're going to start with the Galactic Empire sharing and presenting for five minutes about their UDL journey and their outcomes, while the Rebel Alliance visits at least five presentations from the Galactic Empire. Where they're going to flip the stage and the Rebel Alliance will be sharing their outcomes for five minutes while the Galactic Empire visits at least five different UDL PLCs to learn from them as well. And keep in mind, this is totally up to you as your PLC in terms of what PLCs you visit. We just ask that you go and visit five. Also, for those of you, when you are sharing, keep in mind that you'll be sharing your presentation at least five times. So you'll be sharing it repeatedly during this sharing session. Right here, you can see we've assigned Galactic Empire PLCs as well as Rebel Alliance PLCs. It'll also be in your email that's as an attachment. It was worth it. So worth it. <laughs> Wait for um, it. Okay. What to present. So um, you're going to be presenting your academic problems of practice results, your environmental problem of practice results, and your overall area of focus. And keep in mind, use your rubric to help you um, with knowing what those expectations are and the clarity that Amy and I are looking for. And then Amy, do you want to speak to that? Some, a couple groups that might be a little different. Right. We have a few of our PLCs that through the lens of universal design for learning has, have chosen to focus on a global UDL implementation. You know who you are. Again, making sure that you're presenting your outcomes with as with the same clarity. And if you need any um, support or have any questions, feel free to email Zach or I. All right, so how you share however the heck you want. That's right, options and opportunities. <laughs> so you have the opportunity to share in an essay, an infographic, a video, a QR code, scavenger hunt, or a traditional presentation. But remember, this is universal design and you are all innovators. So if there is a better way to share your outcomes and learnings, please feel free to do so. The only design constraint we're saying, again, is that it needs to fall within five minutes. All right, and also remember to bring your technology. So with the dynamic ways you all will be presenting, there is no way that Amy and I have the, <laughs> the amount of technology you'll need. So we're asking for you to bring, if you need a projector to bring that, if you need speakers to bring that, if you need folks to have their own iPads or you're gonna be pushing folks to create, then bring the supplies for that. Also, if you are presenting, please email both Amy and I so that we know the number of people using projectors. This way we know kind of how to set up the room because we might need to black out a couple of the windows or something like that. So, All right, here's an overview of the agenda for you to look at. Um, we want to start off by reflecting on our accomplishments for the year and then break out into the Galactic and Rebel Alliance shareouts and closing with sharing next steps that have been developed based on your feedback. 
All right. And as a way to, to, to get you excited about those next steps, um, we wanted to speak to them for just a minute um, as they've been finalized. So we're moving next year to more of a site-based leadership. So with the UDL pilots, it was kind of Amy and I and uh, being supporters and uh, setters of the, the projection of those groups. Now it's going to move to more of a school and site-based model. So the CSP principal and UDL lead, which I'll talk about in a minute, they will be the ones that help set that up, which leads us to the UDL campus Jedi, which is you people. Um, we are looking for folks that would be willing to um, step up to be in that leadership. So if you're someone that has really, really enjoyed this UDL process and you'd like to share that with others, please let your principal know that you would be interested in um, that UDL lead position to help set where your campus goes for the UDL rollout that your campus will be doing. Um, part of that would be opening your PLCs to support and build the capacity of other PLCs that have been playing in UDL but haven't been part of the pilots and learn from you and um, your experiences as a pilot rolling out and implementing and playing with P UDL. So again, these will be site unique rollout plans and there'll be more to come on that in um, the next coming weeks. And remember, we're looking to change a mindset so that all students can access learning opportunities. And I think Amy and I felt like this, this was a great way to conclude, always pass on what you've learned. So you now are moving from the point of just gathering the knowledge and, and passing it along to your students to gathering the knowledge and being able to pass it along to fellow teachers. And so your role within the UDL pilots is never done, like it's always evolving, but now it's just evolving to a place where now you're actually being part of that lead. So we really, really appreciate how you have stepped up and taken risks and just being willing to try this out. And may the fourth be with you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so that's right. Thank you so much. May the fourth be with you. And hope we're so excited uh, for next week. No one can say it. <laughs>